Thank you. Good morning from our overwater villa in the Maldives. I'm still pinching myself. This is crazy. I never thought that we would be somewhere like here. Also, I think the Maldives has got to Molly's head. That's twice now that she's brought me a drink. She really shouldn't do this. I'm, I'm, I'm far too spoiled. Morning coffee, that is lovely. We have overslept far too much. Seriously, that is the most comfortable bed I have ever slept in. And we literally have like 20 minutes until breakfast ends. So I'm gonna drink my espresso in a proper coffee cup. It took Molly forever to work out that coffee machine. So whatever sequence she's shown you, that was not true. But thank you to Molly. Thank you to the Maldives. This is incredible. I could sit here looking out at that view all day. I've got to go and get breakfast. Waking up to this felt like an absolute dream this morning. I genuinely didn't realise it was real. I didn't think it was real when I woke up this morning and saw this around me. Oh my God, can't believe it. But jet lag caught up with us. We have overslept a little. We're running to breakfast, which is just there. I can see it in my sight. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to see what the buffet is this morning. I still cannot get over this. We are sat on a beach in the Maldives having our breakfast. There is so many options. That dessert room becomes like a room of treasures in the morning. They have like a champagne breakfast section. I don't want any champagne yet. Too many beers last night, but they have these like smoothies in a bottle. It looks really, really cool. As well as having like traditional English breakfast. They also have, I can't open it, traditional Vivian breakfast. Open the silver bit at the bottom and I think that should pop it out. Like this? Yeah. Ah, you're a genius. How um, cool is that though? A banana smoothie in the morning. Uh huh. So I've got like a mix. I've got some traditional Maldivian bread and then just fried eggs on normal bread and hash brown and a smoothie. Not too much, but there's so much going on there. I might have to get a glass of um, champagne after this. Are just to celebrate. I don't, I don't even think they're posh enough for that. Do you think you've ever had breakfast in a better spot than this? I didn't even think I'd be here having breakfast, so no, not really. How's the coffee? I've got tea, You've very, got tea? very good. Yeah, I think it's like tea from Sri Lanka, so we've tasted it before. Okay. It does taste really, really nice. Yeah, I think a glass of champagne wouldn't go amiss. Oh God, do you really think so? I can't, I don't know how people do it in the morning. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> after our buffet breakfast and now it's time to get some snorkeling gear we're walking to the uh, water sports area uh, where we can get our snorkeling gear and then obviously because we have a water bunk there we can just leave our balcony and head to snorkel right down the steps i'm so so excited look at this view though first thing in the morning this is amazing to get our snorkel we'll literally come into the on site dive shop if you want to go diving around the Maldives you can do it here you can do your paddy license they are paddy certified or if you're already qualified you can do some amazing dives all around the Maldives thanks guys Oh, look at you. Do they suit me? <laughs> you look very professional. Right, now we've got to work out how to put a mask on. I think I'm going to use the mask. I'm getting stuck. Mask, not snorkel. Oh, what, because you can hold your breath? Uh-huh, and are you going to need a life jacket? Yeah. We actually have a life jacket here in case of tsunamis. Not to worry anyone, safety first. But, not going to lie, I don't think I can walk in there. Wow. I can see you wearing them out on the night out. It's like a mermaid. So out here, you've got the sea wall, and just behind it, you've got all fresh coral. But underneath the sweets, they also have planted some coral. So hopefully we can find lots of fish under here. Right, oh, I think we're on okay. This is so awkward walking down with these on, with these huge, great flip-flops. I look like a, I look crazy. But, oh my God, oh, we're on the grip. Seems to be all right. 
I might as well just jump because it is so awkward with these. We're in. Oh, I'll wait for Molly. It's nice just relaxing in here. You can see quite a lot of coral underneath. There, is, there isn't actually too many fish under our room at the moment. So I think I'm gonna head a little bit further out and the guy next to us is actually gonna throw some bread in. So we're cheating a little bit to attract the fish and then we're gonna head further, well, I'm gonna head behind the sea wall here because that is where the coral garden lies. I don't know if the GoPro picked it up, but it was a stingray or manta ray, whichever one it was, it must have been at least 10 feet in diameter. It was massive, right on the seabed. In the south, that was pretty camouflaged, but to see one that big, only what, 10 meters from our room, is incredible. That was honestly incredible. I did not think we were going to see a stingray so close to our suite. That was unreal, but I am exhausted. I can't even tell you. Those flippers proper tire you out. So we're going to go and head for lunch. We're going to have lunch at the other restaurant that they have here, which is called Koi Mala. Um, I'm excited to see if there is any difference, but it's at a slightly further walk and it's closer to the beach. We are in Koi Mala and the choices are endless as with the buffets. This is a much bigger restaurant because this one is available for the rest of the island resort and it is amazing. I have a huge mix of curries here. I have a chicken korma, I have a paneer one. Thank you! That's fine, thank you. Thank you so much. And of course we have our lion beer. Um, I've got the rices, I've got a dal curry too. But I don't know if you can see in the reflection of my glasses, the view, we're sitting right by the beach and oh my god the view is unreal. I think, I'm not sure, we're going to do a more in-depth video on the food that you get at this, these sort of resorts because it's something that I think is important when you come. You want to have a variation, you want to have traditional food, you also want to have your home comforts. But we're again, mainly traditional again today, um, this paneer looks so good and I've got the garlic naan. Doing it with your hands like you should. Oh look at that. So creamy. What type of paneer was it? Mata paneer. Mata paneer. I've not heard of that. Is that a Maldivian take? I'm actually not sure. Oh my god. That is unbelievable. And of course we've got the lion beer to wash it down. With a view in front of us. This all-inclusive lifestyle is something that I like don't want to get too used to. I am absolutely stuffed after that. Only one plate as well. That is like my new trick, because it's a buffet the whole time. One plate at a time, more room for beer, but we are now walking along the resort's beach up to the water sports. So we're gonna try hopefully a couple of water sports out. I wanna do a kayak and then maybe hopefully a jet ski. You can use the whole lagoon area yep. and there is uh, two islands and behind this villa yep. there is a tiny island again. Okay. That's the far you can go out. Yeah. To the two yeah. islands there. We are off. Look at this. This is amazing. We are just going to go around our lagoon. There are two islands in front of us that we can go towards but can't go on. So I'm not going to go to it because it's just like teasing. This is and amazing. This is incredible. The water is so clear. We're literally in the middle of the Indian Ocean. We are on, on a our kayak. Own, own, own little lagoon. You just sit there, I'll, yep. I'll row away. I'm right? on GoPro duty. Oh, 
coral is so sparkly from up here and it actually yeah i was about to say it actually gets so shallow so we have to be really careful here oh i thought that was something it was just some rope that was attached <laughs> this is where we saw the manta ray yesterday though so yeah the biggest manta ray ever we saw yesterday so hopefully we'll see another one it's a bit cloudy see how things have changed molly brings me my drinks i row her on fire this bit is actually really really deep and if you look at how close we are to shore oh God, is look, it to the shore huge eel, huge eel. <gasps> can you see the eel in there Oh, go around, go around, go around. That was madness. But yeah, as I was saying, this is really, really deep. And now we're going back. To Only in the Maldives will you just be floating along and you find crazy things just chilling in the water. Where are you, eel? We're on an eel hunt now. I think we need a little bit more speed now. We're hoping to go on the jet ski for five or 10 minutes. The well, thing is, I've never used the jet ski before. Um, this will be interesting. There wasn't too many issues with the kayak. Yeah, we so. actually didn't tip once, did we? I don't know, but I'm gonna have to drive, aren't I? You are, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare. So one jet ski has been booked out uh, and the other one is free for us to use. However, you do have to have a guide with you. So what that means is that I'm gonna go with the guide and then Matt is, which is cool because I didn't really trust Matt driving it anyway. I'm gonna walk to the end of the jetty. Matt is going first. I'm a bit nervous. It's gonna be both of our first times on a jet ski. So fingers crossed it goes well. And he is on the jet ski. It's my turn to go and find him. This is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> He's really, really excited. But I have to quickly walk to the end of the jetty so that we can see him properly. You ready? Ready. Go. Look at how far away he is. He looks like an ant. You good? He's very good. He's quick. Matt's finished. It is my turn on the jet ski we will not be going that fast because i have to hold the gopro and there is a slight chance that i would fall off so we're going to go a little bit slower and i'll take in the scenery So I've been left to walk as Molly gets her lift back to the island's main beach. That was it. Look, she gets a much better look. She gets to fly past the uh, overwater suites. Someone's definitely luckier than me. Um, but yeah, absolutely incredible. If there is two available, which there wasn't at the moment, we'd have been able to have a go ourselves because you follow them if you've never done it before. They're actually very safe here. I've been to countries and they just let people on really don't care but here they're not going to just let you have a go like me who hasn't done it before and ends up crashing into a boat so i found molly after she got her lift back to the beach on the jet ski how good was that though? oh my god honestly it was amazing but we did it wrong really didn't we because we uh we got a lift rather than doing it ourselves. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. but it's still good fun. But I found her in the beach bar. We went to the beach bar quick. It's literally, ironically, and luckily, ideally, right next to the water spot. So we had a quick beer in there and the rain come. So we've come back, got changed, and we are literally sitting above the water. The table, I, I can't get over this. I'm looking down here and you've got fish swimming below us. And we saw a shark. Earlier on, we were on the balcony. Just after the storm had cleared, actually, the sort of sun 
came out for about a second, so we stood out just to have a look, and then we saw a shark. I don't know what type of shark. I think it's. I think they said it's white-tipped reef shark. So let's just say reef sharks. I'm not going to go another Super huge fish. Not going to go too specific. Um, but we're dressed up a little bit, dressed up for us anyway, because we are going to have a very special experience this evening, which we're going to film in a completely different video, aren't we? So you're going to have to stay tuned for that. We are super, super excited, and we probably have to We have to go get going, so we've got to drink these beer quickly. Cheers. Oh, cheers. And get going out. <laughs> 